This is Northeast Florida. Uh, we're here on the last day of March. And this time of year, uh, we have a pretty unique uh, set of circumstances for observing this little plant. The little beauty I want to talk to you about today is partridge berry. And what's pretty cool about this time of year is you still have some fruits on the berries as well as the flowers for next year's beginning to emerge. Let's get down and take a look at it. Partridge berry is a wild edible. You can see it, it loves to hug the ground and it can grow oh, just in massive mats. And this, this whole area out here is just covered with it. You can see the little white flowers beginning to emerge. Partridge berry's growth habit, it loves to hug the ground. And you can see here, a single stalk will produce clusters of opposite leaves. So you have one leaf and a second leaf, go up a little bit more, one leaf and a second leaf. The leaves are dark green with a single light green or kind of a yellow green vein running down the middle toward the tip. If you flip it over, it's going to be very light in color. Now in the springtime, try to get in real close, it produces two flowers. You'll always see two flowers. Each flower has four petals. And they tend to be uh, a little fragrant. They're, they're really nice. Now those two flowers each have to be fertilized. When they're fertilized, the ovaries for each flower will merge and form a single droop. And that droop becomes the berry. We've lost focus there. Okay. Let me pick this berry and see if we can't take a closer look at it for you. One way that, that you can tell you are indeed looking at a partridge berry is where those two flowers merged, you'll see two I can get it around here for you to look at it. You'll see two, uh, the remnants of, of both both flowers there. So you can see it has two little, I don't even know what the, the botanical term for it is, but you can see that the remnants of both flowers. So two flowers forming a single berry. That is one of the telltale signs that you are indeed looking at a partridge berry. Now the flavor of a partridge berry is very bland. It really has no flavor at all. But if you're coming through a long winter where you've been eating mostly meat, uh, these things persist under the snow. And you know, of course in Florida we don't get snow. So in Florida you can find these things all throughout the winter time. And uh, they make a good supplement to the diet. You can see a couple of them here. You know, you may have to find them underneath the leaf litter you can pick them but they, they make a good supplement to your diet they do contain good vitamins that your body will, will be missing due to a high meat diet in winter time but that's just a nice little nice little find and this whole area is just covered with them out here so uh, get out check out your backyard but as always, check with a local expert before you positively identify anything in the woods, especially when you're dealing with red berries. These are one of the few red berries that will be safe to eat. Um, those of you a little bit north of here, say from uh, mid-Georgia up through Canada, you'll find this partridge berry often growing side by side with wintergreen, which also has an edible red fruit. So. Uh, Get out there and enjoy the woods and uh, keep your eye out for the partridge berry.